people, welcome to Curiosity Dome. Today I'm going to do the bubble snake experiment and learn about bubble science and surface tension. First, let's prepare the soap solution. Take some water in a bowl and add three spoons of liquid dishwash. Mix it well. Here I have already cut a plastic bottle and took its upper half. I reused an old vinegar bottle. Then take an old sock and insert the bottle into it in this way. Fix it with a rubber band. Now apply different food colorings at the bottom part. Dip it into the soap water. Blow into the bottle continuously. Yes, we got the bubble snake. I really expected a colorful one, but the color spread over the sock and the sock became colorful. Anyways, I got really long bubble snakes. That was so fun! Now, how are these bubbles formed? When we blow air into the bottle, the gas molecules in the air get trapped by the liquid soap on the sock and form bubbles. A bubble is a globule of some volume of gases enclosed by a liquid. Here, in the case of soap bubble, the outside liquid layer is a soap film made from soap and water. Now, why are the bubbles in a spherical shape? Here, we should know about surface tension. It is the force between liquid molecules at the surface of the liquid. The liquid molecules cling to each other, which causes the surface of the liquid to behave like an elastic sheet. Here, when we blow air into the soap film, the soap film acts like a stretchy elastic membrane and it tries to have minimum surface area around the air molecules. The sphere has a minimum surface area compared to other shapes. Thus, the bubble ends up in a spherical shape. Now we can observe another interesting thing from this bubble snake. Bubbles cling to each other and the intersections make 120 degree angles which is the same angle we can see in hexagons. Why hexagons? If we pack spherical bubbles in a single layer, it can cover only 90% of the area on a plane, and 10% is empty. Hexagons are the shapes that best fill the plane and leave no wasted space. That was a fun way of learning about bubble science, surface tension, and the uniqueness of hexagons. Hope you liked it. And as always, stay tuned for our next video.